We on? What do we got? Yeah. Well, so last time we checked in, I was finishing up the upgrade on the cooling system. C car has been running beautifully for a long time, right? But in the summertime, in traffic, it had a tendency to get really hot when I'd be in stop and go traffic. So, out with the old, in with the new. New aluminum radiator. This one's significantly wider than the original copper one that I pulled out. Uh, flows super nice. It's thick too. Yeah. Is, um, the, is that um, is that, is that what a, she said? That is. I think it is. Yes. Um, got two electric spall fans here that pull a ton of air through this radiator. Really nice. Upgraded to a, um, I think it's a, not a be cool. A a, a, no, a flow cooler, high flow a water pump. Yep. Um, also put in a new uh, thermostat. At the same time, because of these uh, electric uh, fans, I had to upgrade to a higher amperage alternator, which is down there. I think that's a 110. I forget what I pulled out, but uh, that's got to support a lot more amperage running through there. New power steering. So the car now runs beautifully and it stays way cooler. Today was 90 degrees. I was buzzing 85 on the freeway a lot. Um, that was the speed limit through here on I-90, so don't worry about that. It ran nice, didn't overheat, significantly better cooling than what it came from stock. So, uh, I mean, that really rounds it out. I don't think there's anything really left on the punch list on this project to do. Uh, it runs so nice, exhaust sounds perfect. There is a little bit of a vibration that I've got to figure out. I can't tell if it's the U-joints or something there, but again, get a shot of of the profile the stance is good wheel tire setup i mean this is the car i've had for 20 years now a little crowded in here now a little crowded it's right in front of the 65 impala that you've had for 20 years yeah. right and an ls and a, yeah and a pontiac and a yeah. 51 chevy so trying to get this coupe buttoned up so we can really dive into this fastback project really soon so a couple things has changed on that if you've been following along you've heard me yak about a coyote engine and getting the car media blasted as the first step. Well, I've changed direction. Uh, instead of a Coyote, I'm gonna be doing a small block 427 Stroker Ford. I wanna retain original look. I don't want something that in 10 years is gonna be dated. It's gonna be a 10 year old Coyote versus a period correct, albeit all aluminum, fully built, I don't know, 600, 625 horsepower, 427 with Borla stacked fuel injection. That's what I've decided to put in the fastback now. And so a little bit different direction. And I'm also considering doing an acid dip as the first step rather than the media blast. So help me understand this. When you say 420, what is it? 420? 427. 427 Ford. I think big block. How is that a small block? It's a stroked 351 Windsor. Got it. Windsor configuration, which is small block. That's basically punched out pretty wide. There is a 427 big block. That's called a camera. That's what came originally back in the day and like um, some of the Cobras and the GT40s were running 427 big blocks. Those were the um, single overhead cam variants and also 428s. That's a Ford big block. When I'm talking 427, in order to retain, oh, Let's go to the back. In, in order to retain the shock towers, gotta be a small block. Another, otherwise, I'd have to do a ton of modifications. So, 427 small block four will be in the fastback. So, answer me this: I always hear people talk 351 Cleveland versus 351 Windsor, yeah, yeah. under the premise that a 351 Cleveland is hotter than a 351 Windsor. What is the difference between a Cleveland and a Windsor? The heads, a little bit different head configuration. Uh, again. A lot of hot rodders preferred the Cleveland just because you could build them out a little bit more aggressive, but Windsor, Cleveland, same small block 351, essentially, a little bit different variations. Got it. But so both pretty solid. So the 351 that you're going to start with, it doesn't really matter because the heads are different anyways, right? H heads are going to be different. Yeah, so the one I'm thinking of is going to be a built 351. Probably going to start off with a dart, all aluminum block, so that's an aftermarket block anyway. Probably going to be AFR heads. Definitely going to be Borla and in fuel injected intake. So it's all it's all aftermarket. But what do we got correct. here? Uh, yeah. So this is your fleet line, 47 fleet line, and the LS that's going to be dropped into it. You've got the new wheel, tire, uh, cap, and trim ring setup right there. You can see the nice boy satin finished artillery wheels, finishing out the look. Obviously, this is a little bit different than factory. If you've been following along with anything on the channel. You know, this has already been chopped a little bit, but yeah, this is mixed project. It's gonna be right around the corner here. Yeah, and Hot what Red are we, City. so what are, what are we rolling in today? T 
today we're going to be taking this, uh, a clone Super Sport. Shit. Jokes. It's a real Super Oot. Sport. 65 SS Impala LS3 variant uh, LS Power. Yep. Okay, fine. Yep. The nice boy buckets. Got the new buckets. Yeah, if you haven't seen the video, check that out. I mean, we got options on hot rods to take today as far as that goes. Several of them aren't running here, but several of them are. <laughs> Variety. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Pontiacs. If someone's looking for a Pontiac project, 53 right here, 54 in the backyard. Could be a good runner with the right guy. And also, if anyone's got a an inkling for a big block, 396, 1966, Chevrolet Impala SS convertible. That's your one right there that's optioned out completely. Going to be on the chopping block here pretty quick. Um, After it finished it first. It's just got basically a little bit of body work that needed left and then paint, and it's going to be in perfect shape. So give us a shout if you're looking for the dopest 66 true SS drop top Impala convertible on the planet. Perfect. Yeah, so that's what's up. That's what's in the shop today. We'll see you next week. Thanks for following.